You know, one of my favorite advancements in landscape photography gear are magnetic filters. I mean, it's so straightforward and obvious, yet it took manufacturers a while to make it happen. But now that it's happening, a lot of brands are actually trying to ride that wagon. And this video will be another one of them. For today, we are testing out the Case Armor magnetic filter system. Now when this package first arrived, the first thing I noticed was the filter bag. This is a really nice padded yet not too bulky filter bag. And to be honest, it's one of my favorite things about this filter holder system. Aside from the nice shoulder strap, of course, it also has this Velcro sleeve wherein you can actually attach your tripod leg onto this and just have it there when you are shooting. This bag has six slots that can actually also include the filter holder itself as well as the adapter rings. Now let's divide the system into three layers. Mounting, circular filters, and square or rectangular filters. Mounting is very similar to how we used to mount other filter systems that did not use magnets. This one actually came with many different sizes of the magnetic adapter ring. This is of course the 82 millimeter that will fit this uh, 24 to 70 G Master version one. And you're still gonna be using the screw and thread, but that's the last time you're gonna be screwing in something in terms of using this particular lens. And of course, if you're gonna use other lenses with other sizes, then you're gonna have to switch to a different magnetic adapter. Now, one trick you can actually do is get one magnetic adapter for each lens that you commonly use, and then just use the magnetic lens cap, just like that. Nonetheless, it's pretty much the same way in mounting. The different part is actually attaching your filter holder. Now here we have the magnetic filter holder and of course this part actually attaches to the magnetic adapter ring. But before that you should actually also see the two circular slots on either sides of the filter holder. Now the slot in the rear or the one that is closest to your lens can actually take in a circular magnetic filter. And so does the slot in front. However, the difference is that the rear slot has this dial that you can use to rotate the filter. And obviously, the one that goes onto this slot is the CPL. So you can have the CPL on the first slot and use this dial to rotate the CPL to your liking. Now you can also use a circular ND on this slot. However, rotating it would be pointless. Now, of course, the next slot is the one that's made for your ND and it doesn't have that dial. And there you go. So this is actually the CPL in the back and a six stop ND in the front. Now let's attach it. So as you can see, it's very easy to attach. Now what's left are the square filters or the rectangular filters. Now you actually also have the option to use a square and the filter, but it has to come with the magnetic filter frame. And there is this magnetic symbol right here that you have to look out for because that is the part that will attach to the front of the filter holder. And if you do not follow that polarity, then what's gonna happen is the, the holder is basically going to reject the filter and if you are careless you might drop the filter so look for the magnet symbol look for the magnet symbol and they go together and for the g and d it's the same thing it also has that symbol right here and it should also mount like that and you can also lock it on the side to add a little extra friction now here are my thoughts about this filter holder system. Now this video of course is just about the filter holder system and not about the filters because this uses the Case Wolverine filters nonetheless. But when I did test this out, I did see quite good in terms of color neutrality and 
pretty good maintenance of image quality. Now here's what I think about this magnetic filter system. Of course, the use of magnets is very convenient to any landscape photographer or to any photographer for that matter. And this is very important for landscape photographers to keep us focused on shooting what's going on instead of having to tinker with so many different things like we used to back then. One crucial thing that was quite a hassle was fitting the glass or the resin filters onto the slots of a filter holder and now you don't really have to do that all you have to do is remove it like a magnet however in terms of efficiency i do note a few things that could be improved for one if you want to change the circular filters it's going to be a bit tedious for one you have to remove the square filters and if you want to remove one of the square filters then you're going to have to separate them and if you want to take out the filter in front, then that would be much easier. But if you want to take the filter in the rear slot, then you're going to have to remove the entire setup altogether and remove that. Now, I do appreciate the fact that it technically has two circular filter slots. However, if you do not have a circular ND filter that you will be using, for example, on the front slot, or either of the slots actually, then you're gonna leave some space right here in the middle. And when you leave that space and you just put in the square filters and you're shooting some direct sunlight or some really harsh light source, then you will be getting flare because there is a lot of space for light to bounce back and forth between the glass layers. Now, if you're not facing that particular scenario, then you wouldn't have any problems. It will be just really about being able to plan out your movement in terms of getting the filter in the front slot or the rear slot and taking out the square filters in front. But nonetheless, it is more convenient than having to pull and push in a glass filter onto a plastic slot. So this is still much more convenient to use than the older filter holders that we had. And to be speaking quite frankly, this is a huge leap from the filter holders of the 2010s and those past years. Now, of course, this system is compatible with almost any lens with a filter thread. Now, the question is, how do we use the lenses with the special front elements, such as this Sony 14mm f1.8 G Master. Well, you can actually get a filter adapter that is specifically made for this lens and as well as many other choices. You can check that out on their website and they are of course sold separately. Now to mount the filter holder, you should identify the four points that actually are equivalent to the corners of the lens hood. And basically what you have to do is align those. Now when you have aligned them, all you have to do is actually tighten it by rotating the knob on the more distal part. And you can basically just turn it until you feel enough friction. Now the limitation of this setup is that you cannot use any of the circular filters because the lens hood is actually going to insert inside this hole. So you're going to attach that magnetically. And if you plan to use any filters, then they are, of course, going to have to be squares. So your options are any of the square ND filters and, of course, the GND. And there we go. If you have any questions about the Case Armor magnetic filter system, do leave them down below in the comment section. And if you've gotten this far into the video, thank you for watching. Of course, my name is Nico Valenzuela. I am a landscape and architectural photographer, and the content of this channel is mainly about those things and the accessories that I use. If you are into such content, then please do consider subscribing to this channel and also pressing that notification bell so you can be alerted by YouTube whenever I release a new video. In any case, thank you for watching.